projection of a vector on a line. Let us consider a vector PQ which makes an angle theta with a directed line L in anti-clockwise direction. The projection of vector PQ on line L is a vector P whose magnitude is magnitude of PQ vector into cos theta and the direction is either positive or negative depending on angle theta. For theta greater than 0 and less than 90 degree, cos theta is positive. So vector P has the same direction as line L. For theta greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree, cos theta is negative. So the direction of vector P is opposite to direction of line L. The magnitude of P will remain same as magnitude of R cos theta. The vector P along line L is called the projection vector and the magnitude of P vector is called as the projection of vector PQ along line L. If P cap is the unit vector along a line L, then the projection of a vector A on the line L is given by vector A dot P cap. Projection of vector A on any other vector B is given by dot product of vector A and unit vector B cap. Unit vector in direction of P vector is B by magnitude of B vector. So projection is equal to scalar product of A dot B by magnitude of B vector. If alpha, beta and gamma are direction angle of a vector, A is equal to A1 I cap plus A2 J cap plus A3 K cap, then its direction cosines may be given as cos alpha is equal to A dot I cap by magnitude of A vector or cos alpha is equal to A1 by magnitude of A vector. Similarly, cos beta is equal to A2 by magnitude of A vector and cos gamma is equal to A3 by magnitude of A vector. Or we can rewrite them as A1 is equal to magnitude of A vector cos alpha. A2 is equal to magnitude of A vector cos beta. A3 is equal to magnitude of A vector cos gamma. Magnitude mod of A vector cos alpha is the projection of vector A along x-axis or A1 is the projection of vector A along x-axis. Similarly, A2 and A3 are projection of vector A along y-axis and z-axis. 